Amanda Sykes. Thank you. Montreal, a lot of married people out here, I see. I was married, I was married for 49 years. Okay, seven, but it felt like 49 to me. I'll never do that again. I tell you, you see, our problem was we were married seven years, we didn't have kids. So you gotta have kids, you do, because you need the distraction. You do, right? You need something else to focus on, because if you don't, you got too much time to focus on why you can't stand each other. <laughs> After a while, little stuff would just start getting on your nerves. I would find myself just looking at him going, look at him. <laughs> Every time we eat, he has to chew. What the hell is this chewing stuff? I don't remember him chewing when we were dating. What is this? <laughs> and my parents are having a fit too, because my parents been married over 50 years. There's no divorce in our family, you know, so my mother's having a fit. She's like, oh, divorce. Oh, it's just that easy, huh? Things get a little hard, a little rough. You just gonna throw in the towel, just quit like that. What's the problem? Arguing and fighting, that's it? Let me tell you something. Your father and I had a shootout, okay? He took one in the arm. Harry, show sure where I shot you. Now you see, that's love right there. He knew he was wrong, I shot him, you move on. <laughs> so now I'm living by myself and I'm thinking about getting a pet. I want, I'm gonna get a dog, you know, that's what I'm gonna get. I don't like cats. I don't, cats don't do anything. They don't, they don't have any, any responsibilities. You know, really, come on, you never heard of a guard cat? Or a bomb-sniffing cat? Or a CNI cat? See, that's why I like dogs. Dogs have jobs. They know what it's like to have to get up and go to work in the morning. You know, right, you get up, your dog, right, your dog is right there with you. You get up, your dog's like, okay, all right, man, you going to work today? Okay, cool, cool, we'll be right here. Don't worry about the house, okay? I got it all taken care of, right? Anybody try to break in, I'm gonna bite him in the ass, okay? Don't worry about it. I got it. When you get home, I'll be right here. Jump up, lick you in the face. Okay, I ain't gonna lick you in the face. You don't like when I lick you in the face. I lick myself, then lick you in the face. You don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Won't do that. I'm gonna be right here. Cats don't give a damn about you. They don't. You get up, your cat is like. <laughs> you better take your ass to work. and feed me before you leave. <laughs> I'll scratch all this stuff up in here. <laughs> I don't care, man. You know, I think the whole thing with men and women, I think, I think it comes down to sex. You know, I like the difference, men and women. Because like, men are on different levels. Men and women are on different levels when it comes to sex. Sex is very important to a man, very important. I mean, look, they discovered Viagra, right? And don't think that's, they just started working on that. They've been working on that for a long time. That's been way ahead of cancer, heart disease, scurvy, tuberculosis, the common cold, smallpox. They been, anything that they killed along the way, they just stumbled across it trying to find Viagra. <laughs> they were like, hey, hey, I think this will cure tuberculosis. Okay, well, get that out of here. Ain't doing a damn thing for the penis. Come on, focus, guys. Focus, focus. <laughs> you know sex is important. Look, look, the doctor tell the guy right there, he said, okay, the only side effect of Viagra is that it could kill you. <laughs> hmm, kill me. But would it help my penis? <laughs> I'll take it. sex is important to guys because, I mean, biologically. I mean, it's easy, you can see why men enjoy sex because they're always gonna complete the act, regardless, right? I mean, I don't care that sex could be bad, but they're always gonna have completion. It doesn't work right like that with us, does it, ladies? No, nah, we gotta get midstream before we figure out, this is just not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. That's what I tell guys, I'm like, hey, if you know how to satisfy your woman, stick with that, all right? Just stick with, I tell a guy in a minute, hey, what you did, that was good. Now do that again, 
All right, no, jot that down. That was good, remember that. <laughs> don't go get fancy on me trying some new route that you don't know anything about. <laughs> because you're gonna get lost. And just like a man, you ain't gonna stop and ask for directions. <laughs> No, nah, you just gonna keep on going till you run out of gas. Leave me out in the middle of nowhere. Gotta get myself home. <laughs> we are, man, different levels when it comes to sex. Look at the porno industry, that's a billion dollar industry. Men support, they act out their fantasies. And what's the number one fantasy for most guys? What is it, ladies? Two women, right? Two women, that's what they want. Now, fellas, I think that's a bit lofty. Really, because come on, be honest now. If you can't satisfy that one woman, why you want to piss off another one? <laughs> why have two angry women in the bed with you at the same time? You know, fellas, I'm looking out for you. You know how much you hate to talk after sex. Imagine having two women just nagging you to death. <laughs> blah, 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 hold me. That'll get on your nerves, you know. But I know some of you guys probably are great lovers. You deserve two women. Maybe you do. But you know what? I think you should have to earn it. Right? Yeah, it should be earned. You know, like, like a video game, you get so many points, you get an extra life. <laughs> I think it should be the same thing with sex. When you're doing such a great job, she's like, oh, oh, I can't take it anymore. Ding, you get an extra woman. <laughs> I'm Wanda Sykes. Thanks a lot. And now, guys, a few seconds to practice your technique. Go. I'm staying at a hotel right now. There's no 13th floor because of superstition. But come on, man, the people on the 14th floor, you know what floor you're really on. Like, it's not hard enough to sleep in a hotel room knowing they wash that bedspread once every never. And I've seen enough CSI 